In Forza Horizon 5 currently, the online meta in S2 Open Racing is almost always going to include a Brabham, a Ferrari FXXK Evo, a Mosler, or a Koenigsegg CC GT. Those cars I see all the time when racing, and typically the Brabhams are the top performers out of all of them. So in this video, I'm going to go over my tune with my Brabham and show you what upgrades we got, and then I'm going to show you how it performs to hopefully help give you a cutting edge in S2 online racing. Now this isn't going to be one of those tunes that will beat every single person, however it will allow you to run a continuously good line all the time, and as we know consistency is key in racing. If you're pressuring somebody or you're faster than somebody through certain corners and stuff, it pisses them off, they want to hurry up and try and catch up to you, and you just want to run a consistent line, consistent speed, just be as fast as you can for as long as you can. And this car is really good with that, so I hope this tune and this video helps you guys out. All right, let's get into our upgrades. First things first, we are on a racing V12 with an all-wheel drive swap and running twin turbos. We're on stock tires, as thin as they will go in the front and as wide as they will go in the back. Our track width is all the way out on both front and rear. We're running a nine-speed race transmission, a stock driveline, and a race differential. We're running rally springs, upgraded intercooler, and upgraded oil. Now let's jump into the tune. We've got 22 and 23.5 for the tires. This is our gearing. You can change that how you like. We're only set up to run eight gears, even though we basically only ever get into seven. We're running very little camber on both front and rear. 0.5 out and 0.3 out on the toe for front and rear and seven degrees on the front caster angle. That should basically be standard for every car. I don't think I've ever used a tune that doesn't have that set all the way up there. Anti-roll bars, we are at 10 and 65. This is what our springs look like. If you want a little bit more oversteer, understeer, you can mess with the rear, but I suggest not touching that too much because how it is now runs really, really well. We have the front lifted up just a touch. Our damping is at 20, 21, and 1, no surprise. 590 and 5, 590 and 845 for aero. We didn't touch the brakes. And our differential is set at 100 and 0 for both front and rear and 80% to the rear for the balance of power. Now let's go race this guy online and see how she does. All right, here we go. Let's jump into our car. Now, this is not going to be a guaranteed winner car. However, it will be very, very competitive. If you have some skill in racing, you're slightly good at this game, this car should put you in the top three or four every single time. That's not guaranteed. There are some sprint tracks that require power builds, and this guy is not a power build. It's an all-around build. It's pretty good for uh, tighter tracks, and it's pretty good for sprint tracks however there's always going to be cars that are going to be better really tight corner tracks the bad to the blade if there's any of those in the lobby are going to beat you basically hands down if they have a good tune and then in sprint tracks if you have like an f50 gt or something that's power meta it's going to beat you as well this car is right in the middle like that f50 right there look at that an f40 i think f40 competition yep AMG1, I've never seen one of those come first ever, especially not upgraded all the way. That F40C is not upgraded all the way, he's not going to be an issue. The F50 is the one that we're looking at that's going to be an issue. He's going to be fast, and that's almost guaranteed. I think that car is going to be more power build, probably not so much handling, so we may get him on this track. Yep, there he goes. No surprise there. I think we got him through all the corners, though. There goes that F40. Holy cow. If he's that fast, there's no way he's going to be able to corner. Yep. Didn't think so. Now we just got to worry about the F50. We don't want to push him. I don't want to be like push him off the road or anything, but we got to get past him somehow. He's going to try and stay ahead of us. I know he is, but we're going to have to take him through the corners somewhere. Half the wall. Hit that a little too fast. It's okay. There we go. He will pass us on the straight, though, for sure. Ooh, and we hit that corner a little too fast. It's okay. This is good. This is a good race.
Come on, let's see if we can take him through the corners this time. And we've got his draft, which is a plus. There we go. Tap the wall again. We hit that corner too fast every time. We're going to have to start letting off a little bit. Same with that one. That's okay. I'll take the bumps a little bit. There we go. Damn, son. We're going to take that draft, though. We need it. If we can pull off a... Ooh, shit. Hit that corner. It's okay. If we can pull off another circuit like that where we're in front of them over the, the finish line. That's what we want. This is a good race. Got my heart beating a little faster than normal. Let off. It's okay. We did end up letting off, but we still hit the wall. We won't do it again. We can't do it again. We're not going to hit that corner anymore. Let off there. He hit the wall pretty hard. Fell back a bunch. It's okay. I think we got this. Learn not to hit the walls on the way through. My bad. Kind of racing a little sloppy, but we did end up beating him. And we're four tenths faster a lap than he is currently. At 40, didn't, yeah, didn't think he was going to be too big of an issue. And the AMG one is, it's too slidey. It doesn't handle well enough to be a meta car. I know there's a lot of people who try and use it as a meta car, but it's not, just not good enough. Plaza Circuit, another circuit. We should be able to beat that F50 here as well. When we got a bunch more people, that XJ might be an issue. I'm kind of doubting it. That FXXK Evo, he's got that thing tuned right. That thing's going to be a monster. If you didn't see my video from yesterday, uh, you'll see that one of those guys was freaking really hauling on either this circuit or one also in Guanajuato. Let's see how we do. It wasn't this circuit. It was the other one that goes underground. And just a little hot. We don't want to over spice it into the corner right off the bat. Just gonna focus on our line and not worry about anyone behind us unless they come up and hit us or something. Ooh, turn. Screw that corner up a little bit. It's okay. Coming in a little hot. Okay, stomp on it on the way out. hit the rocks. That'll slow us way down. That F50 is right behind us. Coming into this corner hot and then stomp on the brakes. Perfect corner. He swung it way too wide. I think we got him around this track as well. Taking our lines perfectly, not worrying about anyone behind us, and we are pulling ahead. Exactly the point of this car. Nice, consistent, fast lines. Easy to drive, good handling, decent speed. Good stuff all around. Just noticing that all of our competitors have left, all the new people I would bet. Pretty sure everyone that's in here is that AMG1 and the F40C are the only other people in here besides me and the Ferrari, or me and the F50. 
who knows? People don't like losing, which doesn't make sense to me. Losing makes you realize that you need practice and that you need to be better. Instead of just rage quitting and being upset that you can't win, might as well, like, stick around, see how other people are racing, what they're racing, the lines they're taking. Learn. Get a little better. Fun. I race online pretty much every day. Took that corner a little slower than we could have, but that's okay. Nice, we are way in front of that F50. He's not he's not got the handling that we do. Definitely got the speed that we don't, but he's not got the handling. He's probably taking this corner way too fast. Everyone always does, including me. Just gotta remember to slow it way down before you hit that left hander. And we got some air. That was sick. Yeah, we're two almost Two, no, we are two and a half seconds faster than that Ferrari, lap time-wise. F40 and AMG1 are here. The FXX Evo quit, the XJR quit, and the other AMG1 quit. I'm not surprised too much. Actually, that AMG1 that quit was the one that was with us the last race. This one is a different one. Interesting. So now, in order to win the bracket, we only have to be second because we are eight points ahead of uh, Mr. G A F K there. And coming in second puts us six points down, so he will only be, yeah, he'll still be two points behind us. I think we got this. I'm not too worried about the other two. Uh, if we get a bunch more competitors in the next race, that might be an issue because they tend to be happy on pushing people off all the time, which is super, super annoying. You can be doing extremely well and then have somebody just be like, no, I want your spot and push you off and then it, your whole race is ruined. Gran Pantano Sprint. And it's just the four of us, I think. Didn't have enough time to load anyone else in. Oh, there's one more. And he's in a Vulcan. Ooh, that might be a little, a little bit of an issue for us as well, but I think we got this. I think we got this. Third will tie us for first. Well, I'm not too worried about that, but I would like second or first. I'm predicting we're not getting first. I'm pretty sure this guy's going to pull away from us. The Vulcan I am worried about, however. Well, maybe not. <laughs> He's pretty far back there already. like to stay in this guy's draft if we can get us a little bit extra speed oh careful we are screwing up now gotta watch it Vulcan coming up no nope, doesn't look like it yes sir f50 walks away because he's got definitely a lot more power than we do maybe not more power but more speed catch him in the corners but he's going to win but we won the bracket i'm pretty sure We didn't take first in every race, but we definitely uh, did pretty well. Down to three. And there we have it. Second place. We got two firsts and a second, which is really quite good. Uh, we did go up against people who weren't the greatest, so it could be more competitive if you're going up against more people that are in Brabham's or like an MT900S or anything along those lines. Even people who are really good in a Vulcan can keep up pretty well. But the, this car is almost guaranteed to put you in like the top half every single time. There we go, first overall. 
Not a guaranteed victory car, but definitely, definitely very, very good. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.